So it's a couple days later and as you guys know we uh, had to get a few things from the grocery store so I went to get some bread, milk and butter, you know the basics, the, the usual. I also have a quite a big to-do list to, to uh, work through this afternoon because we do have the car booked for dinner. Uh, from our shopping trip we got ourselves some auxiliary bulbs, some double flint, double I don't know what you call the center things, but those things, double of those. Park lamps, uh, two side indicator lamps, spark plugs, some oil, engine oil, only the best, some water line, two hose clamp fittings, and then the indicator relay. So let's just go and jump back in and get into crafting.
What's up, Nerf? This bottom boost pipe, pop loose. The top, yeah. So I just re relocated, it, relocated the elbow a little bit. I'm gonna go off the LCH now to ask Lee to, if he can weld me some nice beat on it, so the clamp's gonna have something to bite onto. And then we're gonna let's just go for a cruise. Let's just go for a cruise and enjoy this old bill for the first time in a while. So here we go. To the moon! I want to send it to the moon. I want to get, take it to RBTS Racing on Tuesday and see what she can do for tuning wise when she's ready. So this is just a slightly not as fast version of the car at the moment. Massive thanks to Lee at, um, at LCH for sorting out with my boost pipes. We extended it a, uh, 
we extended the boost pipes a pinch and got these nice beads on the on the pipe so the clam can have something to bite onto as I mentioned previously uh, for both the long and the short piece and the there goes my ratchet but anyways we're getting there slowly but surely one step going forward so let's just slap everything together and then we can go for a test drive again <coughs> okay guys and girls so the boost pipes are reinstalled and we're getting to the point where the weather is starting to act up to act up a bit but yeah we're getting there it's one step at a time okay because i can make some cock at the end Okay guys, so after coming back from Lee's workshop, oh, it is the following day, so this has been a, a three, four, three or four day, I think it's day four now, and yesterday I, I didn't do anything, I was absolutely useless. Uh, jumping right back into the, the graph today, um, I'm going to be installing the, the boost controller and um, also getting this this to go off of uh, ignition power so switch power going to be jumping into the graft right now and I'll pick, I'll pick you guys up as we make progress so stay tuned sit down make a cup of coffee here we go Officially, as far as we possibly can go with the build at this point. Um, so, the to do list, what we had to do, we got majority of it done. I think there's only one thing, one thing that I couldn't get done at the moment because I'm not too sure on how it works, but that is my ref counter. But other than that, uh, so currently we are at the dyno spec or dyno ready as far as we possibly can be. Uh, fire extinguisher check okay just the last few doodads and then as you guys can see everything is still as it is and then the launch control we put in this part here by the so, so the launch control is activated by the handbrake so as you guys can see that's just to make it as easy and as, as convenient for me as possible during my racing sessions so I can have my launch control ready, just pop the e-brake, floor the gas and off we go. So I don't have to worry about rolling or inching forwards or jumping the gun. Everything is just how it's supposed to be. But yeah, so that's the end of that. And I'm going to pick you guys up tomorrow when we go to the dyno.